Hello everybody, welcome back to SpaceX Space Flight Simulator No DLC. So here is the new uh, Project Orion which I have created. It is totally made by me and as you can see it's using side separators to thrust itself upward. So there is two engines on this thing to control the thrust of this rocket so that it can uh, move since the separators they only have a fixed amount of thrust and if you activate them they will uh, shoot where you don't want to go so when you want to get to orbit uh, you better have to use the two engines as your main uh, thrust and after that in your interstellar travel you can use the side separators when you want to travel and now um, I haven't mentioned the payload so there isn't any payload and uh, it will be very hard to get to orbit with the payload so what you can do is you can increase the force uh, separation of the side uh, side separator so that um, you can put payload on it and get it to the moon or to low earth orbit so i haven't put any payload and so we are going to the low earth orbit so you should you should know that this Project Iron Rocket was a title which I saw was created by a YouTuber called Hasegacha in his animation video in which he uses it as a tool which humanity uses to escape through to another planet. So yeah, uh, you might know where this is and I will put the link in the description if you don't know yet. We have reached the orbit and our next destination is the moon. As you can see this rocket is huge and yeah it is really huge if you saw it next to the VAB but um, it's not that heavy since it is BP edited using normal no DLC parts. It's about 40 tons and it's it's lighter than your normal rocket so it's, ve it's very easy to control with two engines in case you're wondering. So yeah now we are uh, using the engines to get to our low uh, lunar orbit not low lunar orbit but we are going to make a direct landing on it without orbiting so I'm just turning the Orion so that it might reach the moon correctly in the correct orientation so here I'm time warping and uh, and you can use a two to three side separators as you can see me using to slow your rocket down because those two engines are still not enough to slow it down yeah so here I used it and we're going to land in the sea of serenity since this rocket is huge sometimes it might uh, look like you're going to crash but it's uh, it's not so yeah uh, you don't have to worry about that okay so I changed my mind and we are going to land in a very smooth place of the moon uh, and yeah I changed the orientation of the rocket and we are coming for landing okay so it's coming down fast and uh, I had to slow it down with the two rocket engines, Hawk engines, and uh, yeah, we had to just wait until uh, it slows down enough and it lands on the moon. So another mistake you should not do on this rocket is that uh, if you accidentally press any of the fairings, it will fully explode and uh, you might have to start your mission again. So I'm just uh, telling you that you have to be careful with the fairings. Uh, so yeah okay so now I have to turn this rocket fully sideways since it's coming uh, its velocity is mostly on its side so I had to turn it the the other side and I had to on the engines and as you can see the speed is decreasing and it's also going a little bit up so uh, don't do the mistake which I did here you could have um, 
so the solution for this mistake is that you could start the engine earlier at the correct orientation uh, where you're going so you can slow down without turning your rocket like the way I'm doing as you can see I cancelled out all my side velocity and uh, I'm just I just had to wait till I get down uh, so you had to just on the engine and slow it down and uh, you had to be careful to land it in a smooth terrain since it's a wide rocket okay so we are coming for a touchdown in three two one and touchdown okay so thank you everybody for this you can see the circumference of the moon this is a very huge rocket so I just want to thank you guys for watching till the end and uh, don't forget to like share subscribe and be a part of this SFS community thank you